Nickel 3-3 Cub is one of the best blitzes in Madden 25. This blitz is super effective, and it's really simple. And I'm going to show you a coverage defense that you can pair with the blitz that is actually really good. So the secret to this little defense here is to have as fast of players as you possibly can have at your blitzing outside position. So we're going to put a safety at the user position, and we're going to put Roquan, uh, Roquan Smith. We'll actually put him on the left side here, and then we're going to put this other guy. I think it's Simpson. I can't remember the name of the linebacker on their team that's super fast, but I'm pretty sure it's this guy Simpson here. And then we want, we want like, again, this is super important that you have the speed. You've got to have speed in this game. The way the, the, way the game plays, you need fast blitzing guys, okay? It really does make a big difference in the blitzes. Now, we can do this out of Samuel Blitz 3. We can do this out of Mike Blitz 0. It's a little simpler out of Mike Blitz 0, and Mike Blitz 0 is going to show us how we're going to be able to run our um, our coverage defense out of this as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit, we're going to flick our right joystick to the right at the play, at the, at the uh, formation screen here, and we want to go to safety nickelback package. Now, you can sub all these players out and back in and, and kind of keep your play players where you want them but I'm going to show you something unique about this safety nickelback package and then we are going to be coming out in Mike Blitz zero and you don't even really have to change your coverage show uh, I don't even think you can out of this honestly I don't know they, some formations you can some formations you can't anyways let's go to Mike Blitz zero so here's what here's what we're going to do so for the blitz setup all we're going to do is we are just going to press our coverage the reason I do that is really for more of the coverage aspect we're going to spread our defensive line and we're going to slant our defensive line away from the three wide receiver side. So in, in this example, you see we have a tight end to the right. We're going to slant them to the left and then we're going to put our user in a zone so we can uh, switch stick if, need, if we need to. And we're going to stand to the left of the center and we're going to essentially just try to run down at the center. And you're going to see that it's going to create this kind of looping disengage on that left side edge. So again, we'll set that up a little bit faster this time. It's very quick setup. And there you see we get that edge pressure that we wanted to get the first time. So there you see we're able to get that pressure. Now, another setup, if you wanted another setup, would be to shift and crash um, that direction as well. You can still shoot the run really well like this. This is a great run defense. And you're just really trying to distract that center. I just find that this kind of gets caught up a little bit more than the spread version of the blitz okay so this is this is kind of the blitzing concept and you are playing you know good man coverage you can scissor the left side if you wanted to you know you can kind of get a justy out of this but basically this is a a pretty good little blitz and you're going to be able to play really good coverage from this so the way you're going to play coverage from this is you're going to do everything that I just said. So you're going to spread your uh, or press. You're going to spread your defensive line. But this time, you're going to leave your defensive line or even just slant them inside. And then you're going to leave your user blitzing. And what you're going to do here is you're going to man up these outside linebackers onto the tight end and onto the running back. So you see how we get that man up there? And then the safety nickelback package is going to allow you to put your safeties in outside thirds, which is really effective for helping defend corner routes and deep outbreaking patterns. And then you're going to shade your defense inside and underneath, inside and underneath. This is essentially like a cover to man, but those those outside thirds are just going to help play the sidelines better. And your user is going to just be left in the middle of the field, lurking over the middle of the field, taking away any kind of like deep post route or anything like that. So this is one of my favorite little kind of mini, mini schemes here because we have a, a decent enough blitz. We can get some pressure and then we can also off of this defense. We can also play really, really locked down coverage right now. Man coverage is probably the best way to be playing defense. So using these linebackers in man coverage and then using these outside thirds, I think makes a big difference in your defense. And you can really get like pretty locked down with this. As you see right here, we just play good defense. I think the sheds in this game are really good. The send three sheds are really good. So if you wanted to, you know, kind of maximize or utilize that aspect of this, you certainly could. But this is what I'm doing right now to kind of play 
good defense. If you guys want to get my entire 3-3 Cub defensive ebook, I'm going to be dropping that on our school site within the matter of probably minutes here. And we have a lot more stuff already on the site. We have several defensive ebooks, offensive ebooks, and more on the way. Cool part about being a school member is you get everything for 10 bucks. So you get all the ebooks, all the updates, anything new we drop everything for just 10 bucks and uh, i'll put a link to that down in the description below but i want to thank you guys for watching the video and if you guys want to check out that school site the link is in the description